Okay, I'm having a, a minor dilemma here, which is that I'm working on something kind of huge, like a life-changing project. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of imaginative things going on, a lot of creative, unorthodox processes and stuff. Basically, I'm at the point now where I need to lock myself in my artist studio or my workshop or whatever, whatever I have. And a lot of you guys will understand this, I think, because a lot of you guys are artists or creative people or general crafty people of some kind. You know, you use your imagination for stuff and you understand that sometimes you just got to lock yourself into your workspace, block out the world and 100% focus on what you're doing. So I need to do that. So what do I do about this? video documenting because this is a big part this is the culmination of a lot of things that have been leading up to this for years and uh, I know I'm not going to be able to to document it the way I've been doing it which is I, uh, you know I video everything as I'm going and put the videos up as I'm going and then discuss it as I'm going I'm not going to be able to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera with me I'm going to get video of whatever I'm doing and I'm just going to dump it onto my computer and at some point in the future, I will open that giant folder of like 50 gigabytes of video I've gotten for this project. And then I'll put it all together and, you know, put all the videos online. So there's going to be a break between now and then, and it's going to be a long enough break that I feel like I needed to say something about it. So you're not just like, Jamie, where'd you go? Well, I just need to lock myself in for, for a while and really focus on this. And uh, so like I said... <clears throat> A lot of you guys will understand that. You'll just be like, oh yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Do it. No problem. But uh, I also know that there are a lot of people who aren't artists or imaginative type creative people or whatever. And you won't understand the need for an artist to lock themselves in. Why do you got to do that? Why don't you just do what you've been doing? What's the big deal? So I'm going to try to give a brief explanation for those people. And maybe in the comments, if there are people who don't understand that, some of you other artists and creative people can chime in and kind of fill in the blanks that I'm missing here. But basically, when you're... I'm just going to use the term artist for just to cover everything. When you're an artist, <clears throat> you do a lot of things that are unorthodox, that are, that are, out of, that are outside of what everyone else is doing. So you're not following the instructions, you're not doing what other people are doing. You know, you're, you're coming up with ideas and trying them. Some of them work, some of them don't work. Sometimes you, you, you come up with something that works amazingly, better than everything else you've ever tried. And then like follow that for a while. You, you know, you have this really loose process where there are a lot of variables all the time. And I think that's, that's the big piece of it. When you're an artist, you have a lot of variables going on. Whereas the way we're generally taught to think in school, which I wish they wouldn't do this so much, is, is to think more like a computer, where things are constants. A plus B equals C. And that's, that's how you get to the answer. So when you start doing things in these kind of more, more imaginative, uh, artistic kind of ways, you get, you get a lot of questions about it. And a lot of, and uh, you know, a lot of the questions are fine. Uh, and a lot of them are like, wait, why aren't you just doing it like everyone else? This is tried and true. You shouldn't be doing that. You get a lot of, you shouldn't be doing that. But then you also just get a lot of distracting questions. And they're not bad. It's not like, it's not like, it, it's a, it's not like the people are trying to cause any problem. They're just like interested in the process. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, uh, the problem is when you're doing these kind of imaginative, open-ended things, a lot of times there isn't an answer to the questions. Someone will ask, why are you doing this in this way? And as the artist, you're like, uh, because there are 20 different variables and I used my intuition and some part of my brain that I can't explain well to you know, take this cloud of uh, intangible stuff and 
and come up with some answer. And they're like, wait, but what, what was the, what was the information? Like, what was the thing that got you there? And it's just like, it doesn't work that way. I can't answer that question in any reasonable, like, like that's not the right question. And um, this is why humans can do things that computers can't. Because to a computer, if you have 20 variables, and each variable has a million different um, possibilities, the computer looks at that and says, wait, a million to the power of 20? That's too big a number, too many possibilities. However, in our brains, we have some kind of software or something that can take 20 different variables, each with a million possible combinations or a, a million options, and we can somehow process that into something that it, and do it in a way that's not really explainable other than to say, I'm using intuition, I'm connecting with the universe in some imaginative way that's hard to explain unless, you, unless you've done it. So, so what artists do at times is they say, okay, I can't, I can't uh, explain any of this to anyone. I just need to focus on it because processing all these variables takes a lot of energy and all the questions and all the, the distractions and everything is confusing. And, um, you know, I really just have to have my mind open to all these things and when my mind is so open, any kind of input kind of throws it off. So that's why, that's, that's basically why artists lock themselves in their studio. And sometimes for months at a time, and just won't talk to anyone or deal with anyone. And it's, it's not that they're trying to uh, be rude or, or disrespect anyone. They're just saying, like, I need to put my mind in a state that is not conducive to other people in order to make some incredible thing happen. So that's where I am right now. And like I said, a lot of you guys didn't, don't even need that explanation. You're just like, oh yeah, totally get it. And hopefully that explains it to some of the other people. But anyway, all right. I've got this project and it is 100% my main focus, top priority right now. I gotta go do it. All right, and I promised to get some video that I'm just not going to be able to show for a while. Oh, I left a little bit out of my explanation of, you know, taking all these variables and somehow funneling them into an answer. I should also mention that often, I mean, usually, the answer is also a variable, so it's in flux. So, you know, you take all these variables, and it's like, okay, right now, I have an idea of what to do, and two and a half minutes later, it's going to be different. And it's just going to slide around and constantly change. And tomorrow, I'll be doing something that's not recognizable compared to what I was doing today. And it's like everything is in flux. So there are no concrete answers to anything. Uh, okay, I got to go.